Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And it looks like we're going to play some Fast RMX, uh, a game I picked up almost at launch and then kind of forgot about for a bit. Um, but I, I pick it up whenever I'm, you know, not doing anything in particular. Mm. Uh, so today we're going to try out the multiplayer, though. So I'm going to go with... Any of the new ships that I haven't zero. tried. Zero. <laughs> I found the Vosp and pretty much stuck with that one. Well, that works. I like it. It's got a nice visual to it, and it seems to race like I do. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. Here we go. All right. I'm going to be honest. This is what I want from, like, an F-Zero game. And I think a lot of people have probably said that, you know, of the people that picked this game up. It's like, oh my goodness, this is very much spiritually in the vein of a, an F-Zero title. It has the, like, hyper-fast feeling to it. Uh, the color mechanic is a little different than the uh, charging pads in uh, a little bit. previous titles, but it definitely has yeah, a lot of the, the same jump. flair to it. So did I. I thought I was going to make it, though. I almost did. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, like I said, we're we're relearning the uh, the mechanics a bit here. But uh, it's a solidly fast and fun game. Uh, although the CPUs are going to kick our butt. Yeah, well, that's how this works. There we go. Um, so the color swapping mechanic for the charge pads is important for, like, achieving your maximum speeds. Uh, the orbs are for your boost. Hey! Uh, Jerk. <laughs> but you also need to keep a certain amount of boost, because it seems like if you don't have any boost built up, uh, everyone else can just sort of knock you around like crazy. I don't fully understand that particular mechanic, but... Uh, it seems like whenever I use all my boost up, like, without thinking, I usually end up paying for it seconds later when someone catches up and knocks me out. Uh, based on the, your response, I'm huh? I just want the boost button and the color change button to be swapped. Oh? So I keep trying to hit one while going for the other. Oh. I mean, there's probably Mapleboa buttons. I certainly haven't tried, though. I think I kind of like the nitro being the uh, the bumper. Uh, I find that I switch colors a lot more often than I boost, so... And not just because I forgot which one the uh, <laughs> boost was at first. No, not at all. I'm good at video games, <laughs> I swear. Uh, I haven't made that one particular jump yet. <laughs> Ooh, I beat at least one CPU. <laughs> and me. Well, I mean, that's about how that was going to go, getting back into it. Sure, sure. I mean, excuses. I mean, we'll at least beat more... <laughs> AIs as we go. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I unlocked a couple of cups. I had to at least be moderately not bad at this. Three, two, one. Did you, like, overheat or something? Yeah, I was holding the go button down. Oh. That's a staple of so many of these games, actually, I think, is if you over, well, it overcharge it. It wasn't giving me a visual indicator of holding the button down. So sure. I didn't know it was going to do a thing. Oh. I clipped the ceiling. <laughs> ah. Don't do that. It's bad. <laughs> I 
I am just eating up the track over here, but not in like a good way. <laughs> I will say me and Jumps didn't get along even when I was playing this game fairly consistently. Uh, I was decent at rapidly color changing and, like, timed boosting. Like, if I had to pick things I was actually, like, sort of okay at. Oh, yeah. Jumps, though? <laughs> jumps will just wreck whatever kind of lead I have, <laughs> typically. I do feel like I should be talking more, but at the same time, I really Why would not? like to at least... I am. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I really would like to at least get into the running. <laughs> yeah. I think this game requires too much concentration to talk freely. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, we've talked about recording some stuff and then, like, talking over it. This might be one of those. Ooh. But, I mean, I really do like it, even when I'm absolutely abysmal at it. I, I like that it exists and I enjoy playing it. There's not a there's not a ton of games I can say that I actively enjoy even when I'm like you know. That's true. Even when the AI is eating my lunch, I'm still like, hey, you know, this is good. Video games are good. Video games were not a mistake. Not usually. Oh, boost, boost, boost. I might even get into seventh. <laughs> I'm just glad there's no damage mechanic. Oh, yeah. I'm running into a fair number of walls. Yeah. I, I do know that was usually the end of me in a lot of the F-Zero games, come to think of it, was, you know, explosion. It was hard to really get enough of my health back on those little charge pads. Considering that I, you know, play every game like it's Destruction Derby. <laughs> Oh, man. Did you ever play Destruction Derby? Oh, yeah. I mean, who hasn't played Destruction Derby? It's an older game. I, I don't want to assume everyone's, you know, like, into vintage racing games, I guess. That's fair. Well, now, the best way to play Destruction Derby was driving backwards, because if you took one more hit, your engine would explode. Right. I do remember driving backwards a lot in that game to keep in the game. There's a point where you're literally just crawling. <laughs> yeah. But so is everybody else. Your so. whole back end is just wrecked. I think you have to press A. Oh. Why's that? I want to make sure both of us are still in it. Oh, that I don't I leave see. you behind at the start because you're, you know, like going but to that's grab like a soda. Fun. Welcome to Avalanche Valley. Hmm. That sounds like a good safe racing area. Right? All this snow and ice probably isn't going to affect our hover cars. Two, one. Okay, so there is apparently a boost thing for getting the right... Hey, jerk! <laughs> yes, there is a boost thing for powering up but not powering up too much. I haven't dialed it in, but I know it's there. <laughs> no one gets there is the first step, right? That's... yeah... Yeah. But I am. Oh, I just totally ate it on some avalanche. On the aptly named Avalanche it. Valley. Yeah. So, I was going to say, uh, I really do like the visuals in this game. Like, it's very pretty. Oh, yeah. Uh, everything's very sharp, very crisp, even while it's whizzing by at like a million miles an hour. Yeah, it's totally the F Zero game that Nintendo's not going to make. I mean, they'll occasionally put a F-Zero themed track into uh, Mario Kart. Sure. And uh, Nintendo Land had an F-Zero themed stage. It was even pretty fun, uh, if memory serves. Oh, yeah. But nice. yeah, yeah, I haven't seen a, uh, an earnest attempt at the franchise in a while. There's always hope, though. Well, sure. Just as soon as they can figure out how to make it unlike the other F-Zero games. And, you know, like, different enough from, like, Mario Kart. So I am noticing the gonna difference between your top speed and my top speed. Oh? Yeah. Your 
creeping up on me every now and again, and I got a boost to stay ahead of you. <laughs> it's a real good car. Um, near as I can tell, there isn't any real customization for the cars in terms of like color schemes and junk. Mm -mm. And I know that that's purely cosmetic and not really a big deal, but it'd be something I'd like to see. Uh, I mean, it was never possible for the F-Zero cars either, because they were super iconic and tied to their racer. Yep. You know, uh, Captain Falcon's car always looks the same because Captain Falcon's in it. He's got an aesthetic. But, uh, since this was not tied to any, like, particular branding, uh, I do think it would be nice to have some, you know, stickers, decals, you know, weird shenanigans like that. Uh, I know that's one thing people really do seem to dig about, uh, like Rocket League, for instance, is that oh, yeah. like there's the absolutely ridiculous uh, little customiz customizable bits. Um, I know when it comes out on the Switch, like they're gonna add like big Mario hats and uh, Metroid themed cars and junk. Oh yeah, I gotta pick that up one of these days. Considering that we have so many things that it's on, and none of neither of us have picked it up, it's it's really a shame. <laughs> Alrighty, well, that was the Thallium Cup in Fast RMX. That was a fun little experiment. We uh, we might practice a little more before we do it again. Oh, sure. uh, you know, or maybe try some of the actual, like, Cup League stuff. We'll see. Um, this way one of us can trade off controllers and we can talk a bit more. <laughs> uh, but hopefully you liked this random look at just a really interesting little game that I think kind of flew under the radar. Uh, catch you later.